So this highly anticipated Facebook cryptocurrency project has put out a website and a white paper in the last day. This thing is not even mineable, uh, so it's a bit unclear if this is like a proof of stake or a, it's definitely not proof of work. They do mention in the white paper that it uh, is planned to transition to a proof of stake system, uh, but right now it maybe looks a bit like EOS, which is a distributed network of validators. Uh, we're going to take a brief look at it and give first initial reactions. There will be a technical deep dive uh, with some developers on the CoinSpy show at a later date soon. But uh, yeah, this is just going to be an initial reaction video. Basically, uh, what I see here is that uh, what we've dealt with in the past, it's been like the Blockstream group that did an attack on Bitcoin. We survived. Then it was the Nstream group, Nchain, which is basically the same shit. And then now this is like the third wave of attack on real cryptocurrencies, real peer-to-peer -peer permissionless global monies. And uh, these guys are not playing around. They clearly identify many of the issues plaguing the BTC version of Bitcoin today and other shortcomings of many of the other coins. And they are aiming to uh, not make the same mistakes, essentially. Uh, compared to the BTC camp and like Nstream, they look like amateurs. Um, these guys, they have, let's take a look at the backers who are involved in this project. So it's MasterCard, PayPal, Visa, uh, eBay, there's Uber, Facebook, massive companies like this are all involved uh, and like founding members of this project and basically they are also giving themselves uh, found some kind of a founding member token uh, which is allowing them to participate in the governance of the the asset the Libra Libra um, <laughs> but basically just by looking at these companies tells you all you need to know like Facebook uh, is notorious for uh, breaching user privacies and like not being not uh, dealing with their users privacy very seriously um, they're probably sharing like everyone's uh, data with governments selling it off to the highest bidder and um, well they're now without a doubt probably going to do the same thing about users finances since they're like the top uh, top backer of this project and probably the main developers so also, Facebook is launching uh, another small company called Calibra. In order to use Calibra, you'll need to register with a government-issued ID. Basically, Facebook owns WhatsApp, Instagram, Messenger. Uh, they're integrating the Libra cryptocurrency into these services. And the Calibra uh, services that are integrated in there, it's fully custodial. There's no control over private keys. Um, this is a huge problem, obviously. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, you know, it's Facebook executing this and they have a lot of influence still in today's age, uh, where we're at right now, even though a lot of people are losing trust in them. Uh, so basically, I would say Lightning Network is screwed. <laughs> These guys are going to offer a better custodial service. If anything, Lightning Network has heaps of problems that make it basically unusable. This will be usable, even though it's custodial. Uh, <laughs> but will they be able to compete against uh, true peer-to-peer -peer electronic caches? That is the question that remains yet to be seen. Uh, definitely, if the people behind the true peer-to-peer -peer electronic caches don't step up their game right now and take action to improve the project, we are going to lose this battle. This is uh, what appears to be a very centralized database and it's quite complicated, but we will look into that later as I mentioned. Uh, there's really no reason why they should have used blockchain here, um, but I guess they are wanting to compete against blockchains, which are more appealing uh, right now to most people. Um, also, another point of interest here is that basically 
They are issuing uh, securities to the founding members. As I mentioned before, that token that these founding members are getting. What they say in the white paper document is that the Libra investment tokens represent an expectation of returns from interest on the reserve, further incentivizing the validators to keep the system operational. So that is a security. Um, I think what this is going to do is also be useful in introducing the masses to cryptocurrency and or digital currency as some may call it. And who knows, in the end, uh, as uh, more people are losing trust in these big companies like Facebook, who are really, in a way, they appear to be challenging uh, large governments now, the state, uh, with their huge reach and uh, what they're capable of doing now because they've captured so much of the market. Uh, I think it could be a good way uh, for the masses to continue onboarding to real cryptocurrencies uh, when they discover the merits and benefits of those over this Facebook coin. So uh, Hypo Yang said it pretty well as well about Libra. Uh, basically, yeah, this is going, he thinks this is going to expand the adoption of crypto. So this is good news for existing cryptos. Uh, sounds like Libra is going to be a stable coin. As they mentioned in the white paper, they don't like the volatility of existing cryptocurrencies. So basically, this means that Libra will not have any investment value. So more people looking to make money, uh, you know, you have to invest in something that is volatile uh, because otherwise, like volatility is a playground that allows lots of money to be made and lots of money, money to be lost. Um, so this is why uh, people are, like Hypo here are believing that actually this is a good thing for existing cryptos. But uh, yeah, anyway, we will take a look uh, a lot deeper at the technical level about how this functions, hopefully in the next couple of days. So stay tuned for that. But this was just initial thoughts on this project and uh, I'll sign off here. Thanks very much.